Indeed, it is I, Rough Cast, and today we continue the adventures of our favorite dumbass, Dale Tucker. Good friend of mine, Chaos Dispenser, is joining us today as Dale's cousin, Chester Thornsbury. It's his first time playing the 5M mod, so I'm here to help him get started with his first of many adventures in GTA RP. We get off to kind of a rough start, but it doesn't take very long for him to get the hang of it, and after a bit, he shows that he can be just as stupid, oh, if not shit. more stupid, than just the free bird himself, son of a bitch, get Dale in the Tucker. Fucking house. What's up, guys? You want a hit of this? I just lit up in the parking lot, you know, I said rock and roll! You, you know I fucking want a hit of this. Give me that shit. Let's get out of here, cuz. Alright, welcome to the fucking city, dumbass. I, I mean, if y'all want to stay here, um... I'm just getting us somewhere to go. Man, you know the laws around here on opening talks? Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the comfort of our own home. You are a visitor in my home. Uh, and I am more than welcome to serve visitors in my home with hey, beverages. I may or may not have fallen out of the van. That'll happen when you're smoking dope in the van, actually. Um... I think I'm still in the van. Put the shit out. <coughs> get, get out of the truck and get back in, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> I can't. It's not letting me. God damn it, Chester. <laughs> like my I mother know. always said, never fucking go nowhere with no fucking Thornsburys. What are you talking about? You are a Thornsbury. I'm a fucking Tucker. I was born a Tucker. I'll die a Tucker. You are a chicken fucker. There is a big difference. <laughs> Mama told me not to come out here. Uh, uh, hey, okay. she wasn't wrong. This is a bit of an issue. Where, um, where are you exactly? <laughs> I drank a beer and, uh,. I went through the bottom of your car and it thinks I'm in your car, but I'm not. So and now the graphics are very messed up. Try jumping or something? Press X. X puts your hands up and breaks emotes. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, new rule. Don't do drink a beer while yeah in a we van. we don't we don't do emotes in the car it gets weird. <laughs> it was cool. I had open intox in the car, and then it was like yeah no. Uh, is there a way to reset a character? I don't know how to undo what you've done at all. <laughs> <laughs> what you saying is I need to get out of the game and come back in. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, I just reset. I just reset. Yeah, because I deleted the vehicle. Oh. <laughs> I became part of the floorboards. Where are you? Are you beneath me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. This game is already much more fun than I'd ever anticipated. I don't, I, I don't even know how to explain what's happening. I don't either, but it's great. Trailer. So you went and lost your RV, and now we walking out of here. Uh, I mean, if you if y'all want to, we could just take this and get out to the country. Damn. Damn. Hold on a second. I learned a few I got things in Knoxville. I got my vehicle back from impound. Yeah, but, but Dale, this one's so much better. I'll bet you I can get it out to the country before the cops even show up. Listen, you probably ain't fucking wrong. I mean, if there's nothing else you got to do to get your fucking P's and Q's together, we could probably get a pretty penny for that ride. <laughs> I 
Rule I'm assuming you're not recording. Uh, maybe I am. Rule number one, we need to have this vehicle somewhere. Somewhere out of sight so they don't say, Oh, look who did it! Fucking Dale Talker! Chester, get the fuck back here! Chester! Get over here, you son of a bitch! Where are you even yelling from? I'm over here across the street, you son of a bitch! You fucking serious, Chester? Get over here before I whoop your ass! Last ass you whooped was a squirrel! You and he even put up a fight bigger than you could get! You what you know there. about whooping ass? I know about how you to see get these away guns? from the Look at these guns! I listen to you. Listen, Look at these guns! Listen and learn, Chester. I'm here to give you the time of your life. And that means one of two things. That means either you're going to walk away a pussy, or you're going to get in this fucking car, and you're going to see how far you can get, and I'm going to be sitting in the passenger seat laughing my ass off the whole time. All right, let's get the hell out of here. It's fucking, it's on now. Woo-wee. Like Donkey Kong. Tucker and Thornsbury's. Let's see, I'll give you somewhere magical. This don't handle like today. my Firebird back home. I'll tell you what, man. I know where we can score us some fucking opium. Maybe get that, uh, maybe turn that into some fucking, turn that brown into some green, you know what I'm saying? All I need to know is where the hell the woods are! Why don't you, I, I, I punched something in the GPS. I'm from around here! I just punched something in the GPS. Well, careful now, we ain't fucking ninjas! We, we ain't gonna keep surviving shit like that. Oh, uh, uh, hell. I don't even know what just happened. I think you thought you were Batman for a moment, then you quickly realized you were like fucking Wiley Coyote. It's okay, we'll just consider this a little driver's head, the thief's car thief's edition. Yee-hoo! Absolutely. Jess has got the ride! Rule number one of did you steal it? It, it, it? You gotta drive it like you stole it. Oh shit. Rule number I've two. I've been here for ten damn minutes. Rule number two if you wrap it around a tree, you need to get yourself another vehicle before the cops get Oh, you. oh, oh, cuz, 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 it's a Mustang. <laughs> it's my dream car. I want that car. Can we just take that one? This one here? Careful though, rule number three. Don't piss off the homies in front of other homies. See, see, it's it's fucking on now. They coming first. Uh, I ain't packing. All right, if they shoot at us, we down. We fucking out. All right. Ain't gonna shoot at me. I am OG up in here. And let me tell you. Oh, a real OG would have himself a fucking Glock 18 automatic fire wheel. Well, you know what I got? I don't need I got, no weapons. I got lefty right here, and I got righty. It's the same thing. Either way, this middle finger is the only weapon I got against fucking injustice. That is the LSPD. You hear that? Y'all are a bunch of fucking pigs. Don't slow down. Keep going. I just fucking called them out. Absolutely. You know what? I tell you what. I, I, I'm driving right now like one of the greatest movies ever created in the history of mankind. Are you talking that about is the that? fast. That's the fast and the furious number four. Oh, I was going to say Harry Potter, Chamber of the Secrets. No. Come on now. 
It's the only movie we had. It was like one of the last VHSs they ever made. Oh, hell no, had. no, Dale, Dale, Dale. Waste not, want not. Absolutely. We're, we're in every part of the Buffalo kind of family. Now, what the hell? Them deer just go and pick up that body of a deer? Deer got the fuck up and fucked off. Dale, we just witnessed a miracle. Yeah, I thought I might have heard something too. So get out of here. Are we gonna take this one now? We could, but first I want to show you a little something. something. Uh, uh, oh hell! Hey, this is looking mighty fine. Look at this place over here. Absolutely, right over here they've got themselves some fucking opium that you can gather. This is this is a good way to make some fucking green. Hi. Um, Dale, I don't mean to question your wisdom out here, but y'all, we just stole a car and a real nice one. You think we should be loading our pockets with opium before we go and, you know, do that? Oh, I'm, back I, the I, car? I'm sorry. When were you the resident expert on how to make money quick? We, well, I think it's more... Thing of I'm the resident expert on how not to get caught making money real quick. You stick with That's me. That's why Aunt Matilda sent me out here. You stick with now, me, and you, you probably need to won't listen. get arrested. Uh, Dale, I'm your cousin. For the love of Christ and all that is holy, maybe we don't get opium right this minute. Well, I got enough. Oh damn! All right, shit. I guess I'll just pick up some Whoa. opium. I mean, I got some. It sounds better than none. No, no, it's fine. I'm just gonna sit here and load my pockets with cocaine. You getting coke? Hitching a ride. Hitching a ride. Yeah, we need to get way out of hell out in the woods. Yeah, but not like, way this, the hell not out in this the fucking woods. busted out. Don't, don't, don't get in there. Let's just oh, take we gonna thing. take a monster truck. Oh, hell, we gonna take a monster truck. If you want to go off-roading, we best dress the fucking part. Hell, you always were my favorite cousin. Get your ride. Right, here's hoping we make it back kind of alive. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, all right, that, that, that may have ended uh, a little harsh. I've had better days. Oh, oh shit. shit. right now. Okay, uh, all right, that that may have been, um, whew. All right, all right. Dale, um, yeah, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, I, 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 I just, I'm going to need a minute. At least a fucking minute or two or three or seven. You were the best, the best ride I ever fucking caught. Oh. Why are you so hurt? This thing's got so many bull bars and roll bars and crumple uh, zones I, and airbags. I can't get back up. Oh no, bye. I'm okay. Damn, I think I might be dead too. 
Yeah, what the hell is this? What, what? I think you'll be okay. Chester, what the hell did you do? Okay, listen. Don't you go anywhere. I got this. Alright, I, I sent a message to the fucking EMS. Alright, here's the deal. You, can you fucking hear me, cousin? This is the deal. I told them that you was run over by a fucking bad man. Bad man? Yeah, and then his You're friend, the damn mad man! And then his friend got out of the fucking car and <laughs> stole my RV. <laughs> <laughs> stay with me. Now, stay Ow. with me. Stay with me. His friend got out of the truck and stole my RV. And they left. Uh, I don't... It's okay. Dale, you I'm know feeling what? Just cold. Stay, stay where you are. I'll do the top. Dale, Dale. Dale, it's getting cold. Where'd stay you go, Dale? Me. Stay the fuck with me. Dale! I'm right here. It's I'm getting dead. cold. Dale. Lights around me are getting darker. Who's who's coming? It don't matter anymore. Either one of them can help you out. Here we go. It's a fucking fire department. Was Over here. When I went down to Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. <coughs> I told you he's thinking this is going to He's going away. Oh, wait, no. Okay, we're good. Look. Sorry. Was Jordan. He was running What did I see? He was running over by Florida. some maniac. <laughs> Gary, me home. Got run over, I don't, huh? I don't it feel so terrible. good, Doc. Oh, thank God the police are here. Maybe they can find this maniac. Maybe. Oh. Adam, but hey, hey. Said you have a, you got run over by a car. Are you uh, in any pain anywhere? You you seem to be pretty okay. Oh, uh, you're up and talking. Uh, well, you know, thanks very much to this here expert doctor right here. I was on the brink of death, and I knew, I knew, Lord Jesus was coming for me. He was coming for me, Lord Almighty. Your, uh, He's great, because I taught him everything we he knows. We don't talk much about that side of the family. But then, as the night was coming, this man over here saved my life. And now I walk free as a bird. Bird. I'd jump does. if I wasn't pretty sure I still had a sprained ankle. Aren't uh, birds now Jesus. more kind of remarked upon for flying as opposed to walking? Well, yeah, I didn't say it didn't hurt. It still hurts a lot, but at least I'm not on the brink of death. Is that the only place that hurts? Is your ankle? Yeah. Uh, well, um, and my liver, and I got kind your of a lips. headache, and um, well. I, I kind of had to pee for the last couple hours, and I haven't had a proper bowel movement in about three, four days. And, you know, I had bad knees now for the past 16 years, and I always get a little bit of pain along the one side. And then I got this eye. It's got a little bit of an infection. I'm sure to sure you can see how red it is. That's kind of a pisser. And then, you know, I got some hair plugs not too long ago, but they ain't working so hot. And then, you know, I got an infected fingernail. <laughs> um, that I, I suppose that's all kind of beside the point. If he, if yeah, you don't mind if I all just... Right, well, I am going to turn you over to someone who can actually help with most of those things. I can help you with your ankle, but I can't really help you with uh, a lot of that other stuff. Oh, well, God bless you. I'll take anything you got.
Cousin, you okay, brother? Oh, hey, 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 get out of there. Damn! Right. I didn't Don't mean to say hand. I didn't mean to say Damn, I'm scared. Hold my hand. He told me I can't go in there. Come on in. You can come in. It's okay, I told the detective everything he needs to know. Don't, 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 just don't worry about it. He'll find those motherfuckers and he'll get to the bottom of this. Doc, I'm constipated. I mean, here, I'll just... There you go, that's the right end. I said, without the bottom. Oh, hell. Why are you starting at the bottom? Now, well, if you're that, constipated, that... we clearly don't have much to worry about on the bottom for now, so it can remain at the bottom. Hey, uh, Craig, if you're going to disimpact this guy, give me some forewarning and I'll, uh, get to the other room first, right? Don't you love it when you heard a word that you ain't never heard I'm before, but observe. as soon as you heard it, you know what it means? That's one of those, uh, one of those little gems. All right, I'm going to remove your hat for a moment. We're going to take a look at the scalp. You have any complaints with the scalp? No, no, I haven't had lice in like probably 10, 15 years. Mama June's always been keeping my hair nice and clean for me. Uh-huh, okay. All right, any skin problems around the face? Any itchiness, dryness? I mean, other than the red rings under my eyes, nothing. Copy. Let's open those eyes wide. Let's take a look at them. You have uh, any complaints with your eyes outside of what you've already told me? I, I, I mean, I, I may be kind of a proud man, and um, I don't know. I don't see as well as I used to, you know, being 32 and all that. I tell you, my eyes are 20-20. I could pick a squirrel off 200 yards with a 22 without a problem. Now it's 75, and after that, it's kind of a guessing game. Now, nah, okay. All right, any problems with the nose? Have you ever broken it? <laughs> just nose looks straight to you, Doc. I just no, it got... don't. It looks like it just finished celebrating pride, buddy. God bless America. I mean, I know Sally ain't. She ain't the cleanest of uh, friends, but, uh, you know... Things happen. Is it painful when you urinate? Only the memories, Doc. Only the memories. Thanks for Whatever that, that means, we're moving on. Great. So you're constipated. How long have you been constipated for? Uh, God, it's been probably four or five days now. Oh, is that what the medicine was for, for that days? he was trying to pick up at the trailer park there? Yeah, my, my intestines, they've been hurting something awful. All right, no good. Hopefully we All can right. do that with without any kind of surgery. Oh, sounds like uh, Doc, the good Doc Drevens here is going to become uh, very familiar with uh, our good friend here. I'll uh, take my leave. Uh, I mean, any problems with the uh, the legs? You having any leg issues? Well, I, you know, I, I've had bad knees since I was probably seventeen. It looks like your doctors just didn't realign that any. No, no, no. I mean, I just got ran over. That's why I'm here. In addition to the constipation and the pink eye and the finger and things. We can line that back up for you. I mean, I ain't no pussy, but um, I understand you might have some things that make it not hurt so bad. Please, you got magic hands. Now, now, you, now hold on saying just a second. You saying you ain't got enough of that in your pockets already? Uh, now, Dale, I have no idea what you are accusing me of. But the last time I heard someone had magic hands, uh, it, I ended up in the back of a Chinese restaurant. All right, go on three. One. Uh, wait. Two. Um, 
Okay. Wait. Two. You, you're not. You're not gonna give me no minute. Oh, oh God, just go. Actually, do it. no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ready to do it yet. Hold on. Three. Oh Jesus! Tap dancing Christ on a bag of concrete on a Sunday with a unicycle. Jesus, what was that? That was your ankle. And what other parts of my body came out? Nothing. You're all good. Uh, now, do you I say your other ankle was so also bad. fucked up? No, no, there ain't nothing wrong with the other one. No. Nah. You're the best. I'll, I'll leave it there in case anyone wants it. Thank you for a job well done, gentlemen. See, look at that. I Not get to problem. put up with you for another day. Dale. Dale. How how'd you let how'd you let them take me down here to this big city area and get you sticking things in my face and cracking my ankles where I didn't I heard most of that I heard enough to say, Don't worry, we got a free ambulance. No, I'm just kidding, I ain't gonna steal that. But we should steal something. I don't even know why your mother wanted me to come out here. Aunt Matilda must have had a death wish for me. I ain't got no fucking mama. I told you I got to update you on the family tree. Del Tucker ain't got no mama. She worked at the Unicorn 30 years ago and then she disappeared because I was already a fuck up. Well, who the hell is Aunt Matilda then? Oh, no. It's probably this fucking bitch oh. right there. Thank you, Aunt Matilda, for the vehicle. Oh, fucking oh. shit, it's on. This was not what I Damn. expected. You are the dumbest son of a bitch I have ever met in my entire life. Yeah, he's, he's not wrong. I think Dale is probably the dumbest son of a bitch that a lot of people have met in their lives. But, uh, hey, you know what? He knows how to have a good time. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Does Dale Tucker get away? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We already, we already know he doesn't.